The United States has announced sanctions against two individuals in South Africa and one from the Democratic Republic of Congo, who are allegedly associated with the expanded activities of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria in the African continent. Now, the statement said that these individuals serve as key financiers and trusted operatives enabling the activities of the ISIS and its leaders across Central, Eastern and Southern Africa. It said they also serve as critical links between far-flung ISIS operations, including ISIS affiliates in the DRC, Mozambique, Somalia and ISIS cells in South Africa. U.S. named Abu Bakr Swale as a South Africa and Zambia-based ISIS operative and said he is involved in the physical transfer of funds from South Africa to the DRC. Additionally, it also said Muhammad Ali Nikab Lubo, a DRC-based ISIS commander, relies on Swale to move funds and recruit members for ISIS's DRC affiliate. This action is taken as part of the United States' commitment to the mission of the counter-ISIS finance group, which is the CIFG. The CIFG is a working group of the Global Coalition to Defeat ISIS, which includes over 80 countries and international organizations. For more on this, our correspondent Calden Ongmo has sent us this report. Listen in. The United States has said that South Africa is used as base to finance ISIS activities in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is worrisome for Pretoria as it raises concern that the country is harboring terrorists. Experts say U.S. might have credible evidence and they might have spoken to South African authorities as well. Because normally in a situation like this, both counterparts exchange information. This is the second time U.S. has sanctioned individuals based in South Africa over alleged Islamic State links. Experts say South Africa has done a lot to combat terrorist activities, especially after 2022, but clearly it hasn't done enough. And this comes as the country is still struggling to get off the Financial Action Task Force's grey list because of its failures to combat money laundering and terrorist financing. South African authorities are yet to respond to the U.S. statement. This is Calden Olmo from Johannesburg, South Africa, for We On World Is One. For latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.